Hey guys, even here and in today's video we're gonna do something very interesting. As I promised when I made my Pittsburgh Pro guest posing analysis video, I said we're gonna compare Andrew Jack to Samson Dowd and that's what we're gonna do in this video today. And no, we are not necessarily only gonna compare these two versions of Andrew and Samson because, because yeah, they're both in the offseason, but Andrew is deep into his offseason, he's obviously pushing for growth right now. And even though Samson competed recently, so he should be also looking very good right now, but he has been completely off, off of everything for 8 weeks. I mean, I know after 8 weeks you don't lose any muscle, but you do lose some of the hardness, fullness, and I think it shows in Samson's physique. Not as much as you would probably expect for somebody who was 8 weeks off, but you can see it, you can definitely see it. And Andrew Jack, again, he is deep, very deep into his offseason, so he definitely put on some body fat and he's probably holding more water, so conditioning is also not comparable, nor is the fullness and the size, but, but, we can definitely see some improvements that Andrew Jack made in his offseason. I don't think he was ever this big in his career ever before in the offseason so i think he definitely made some progress how much progress enough progress to defeat samson dauda i don't know let's try and figure it out in this video so what are the strengths and the weaknesses of andrew jack well his number one strength it's gotta be it it's gotta be his midsection the center of the physique his midsection his abs are the best out there i don't know if i remember anybody having this good looking of a midsection in top five at the mr olympia maybe maybe late sean roden i mean he basically won the mr olympia title based on his midsection i would say based on his absent high shot i mean his midsection was phenomenal in all shots but really if you compare sean roden to andrew jack you will see that andrew jack probably has better looking midsection like nicer looking abs more symmetrical but the overall absent eyes shot i don't know if anybody had a better absent eyes than sean roden in history of bodybuilding anyways i'm moving off the topic as far as hander jack his biggest strength would have to be the center of his physique the midsection and then of course his crazy size his crazy height i mean there aren't many bodybuilders at that height with that much muscle and then also the roundness the bubbliness of every single body part of his everything is just round and popping like crazy i mean the chest the shoulders the arms everything really however the weakness of andrew jack so far i know how crazy it's gonna sound but it was actually the size i mean he's incredibly large human being but for his height and for the length of his limbs he was still not packed enough you know, when you look at these arms, for example, you would never say these arms are bad. You would never say that these arms are small. And like I said, they have crazy pop. Like the biceps are really peaky. The triceps are hanging crazy low. I would say his triceps are peaky as well. But in comparison to somebody like Samson, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So the size of the forearms and the fullness of the arms obviously samson's biceps are not as peaky and his triceps are not hanging as low but they are fuller and therefore they're looking rounder fuller bigger and you can basically say the same thing you can make the same argument for every other body part of samson compared to andrew he's just more packed he has just more muscle his physique is simply more filled out another weakness of andrew jacked was the conditioning of his lower body from behind it's a little bit different with samson because andrew's glutes are usually more conditioned than his hamstrings he just doesn't have the details in the hamstrings and samson he has great details in the hamstrings but he has no glutes so it's a little bit different but it's very similar now as far as the back itself i think genetically andrew has probably a better looking back like his lats are inserted lower they're not high lats and his waist from behind is looking ridiculously small so once again so far samson did have an advantage as you guys know he was top three the mr olympian that was a special call out and andrew was fifth which was kind of close but not really he was in another call out they weren't in the same call out at all and i think the biggest reason for this is that samson is simply like i said more filled out bigger for his frame andrew is massive but 
he has an incredibly big freaking frame. So now the question is, did he fill it out enough? Based on his guest posing, it seems like he's definitely bigger than ever and i think he definitely improved and like i said samson was eight weeks off so he definitely lost some volume some size so in comparison to andrew you know andrew looked better here in this guy's posing and that's just it but you know the circumstances and you also know that andrew has devoted this entire year to growing you might say samson never had an office in the past three years and he still kept progressing show after show but the same thing can be said about Andrew Jack. He also didn't have an off-season, and he also progressed significantly in the past two years. And you guys gotta remember, he turned pro in 2022, only two years ago. So he's very young as a competitive bodybuilder, as a professional bodybuilder. And now he finally decided to focus on progression, to focus on growth, to have an off-season, which is exactly what he needed, to push for growth a little bit more, just to get that size for his frame that he requires. Samson doesn't need to do that. He's already packed in a max, basically. He needs only conditioning. Andrew Jack needed more tissue, and if he gained, like, I don't know, let's say 5 to 10 pounds of muscle in this offseason, it can be a game changer. This guy can surpass some people for sure if he improved that much and comes in in condition. If we go back to the 2023 Arnold Classic where I believe Andrew Jack brought his absolute best conditioning ever and Samson also, also was in best conditioning of all time, and a lot of people actually had Andrew Jack winning this show, even though he placed third behind Nick Walker. I think it was very close between all of these three guys. Different physiques, different strengths, different weaknesses, but it was, it was close. Now, I definitely do not think that Andrew deserved to place any higher than he did. There are arguments for a couple of poses in which he maybe looked best by a close margin and as far as the poses he lost he lost them quite apparently now as far as the front double this is the one where it was close and you could give it to andrew because of his crazy midsection crazy wee taper crazy x frame i gotta say but you can see samson his waist is also very small and with this vacuum he just looked very good especially with his conditioning and where he beat andrew was simply the size the size of the chest of the arms and of the legs you will see the exact same thing here, so especially the arms and then the legs as well. It wasn't that far off, but it was visible. As far as the back poses, I think Samson improved his back dramatically, and Andrew did as well. And like I said, Andrew's glutes were drier, but Samson's hamstrings were more separated simply. So this one was also kind of close, as far as the back lat spread, also very close. Again, I would like to see more muscle in the legs, bigger legs, wider legs. Same thing with the back, I would like to see it more filled out, wider. But again, pretty close, right? Very, very similar physiques. Both guys are big, tall, with those crazy muscle bellies. And as you can see here, absent eyes, Andrew won this one, nobody can beat him in this one. I mean, even in this one, his legs are looking better. I don't think Samson is quite flexed fully here, but Andrew win this one against anybody in the world right now, if you ask me. Now, here is why he had to place lower. Here is why he couldn't have won this show or placed second. It's his side shots. If somebody has a really good frame, really good shape, really good axe taper, wee taper, whatever... You can hide the size gap in the front and maybe even the back shots, but when you turn to the side, that's where you can see the actual thickness. And the difference here was honestly night and day. I mean, look at the size of the legs. Look at the leg thickness. I mean, look at how much Samson squads are popping up. Look at the height of the squads. And then look at the hamstrings, the hang as well. And also the glutes. So definitely significant difference in lower body as far as thickness. And then upper body the same thing especially the arms but also the chest i would say the upper body width which comes simply with size so no andrew was never better than samson so far you can't say that it wasn't close and judging by this new version of andrew this guest posing this mass monster version here i think he may have just closed the gap there is a possibility I'm not saying he's gonna be thicker and bigger than Samson, but maybe he's gonna be close enough to potentially challenge him. 
And especially if his conditioning is nailed to the point where it's even better than Samson's. Anything can happen, man. Anything can happen. These guys are very close, very similar. But this year, and I heard that Samson might be doing Texas Pro this year. I don't know if he has enough time to get in condition, but he definitely has enough time to get conditioned for the Mr. Olympia. So if he nails it, and he doesn't lose the new muscle in the process, which I don't think he's gonna do, if he comes in 10-15% better, man, this guy can, I don't know, he can do a lot at a Mr. Olympia. Let's just put it that way. He was fifth last year. This year we have an addition of Nick Walker, Personally, I see him beating Nick Walker and Brandon Curry, again, if he nails it, if he is improved. And as far as Samson, Derek and Hardy, I think this guy is gonna give them a run for their money. That's just what I'm seeing right now, that's what I think. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more content about bodybuilding like this, subscribe to this channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best, and bye-bye.